Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a multidisciplinary team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station as the Expedition 34 crew continues its work. Today the crew has uh, assembled Robonaut for another set of on-orbit tests that are looking at what kind of an assistant a humanoid Robonaut might be for humans in space. They're also uh, doing ultrasound background noise testing to continue work started early in the week to characterize the sound levels on the station and uh, replacing the manifold bottle on the combustion integrated rack which allows flame experiments to go on aboard the International Outpost. Ford and Hadfield were the prime crew members working with Robonaut, taking the humanoid Robonaut out of its uh, sleeping compartment and setting up a task board for upcoming remote commanding. Uh, meanwhile, engineers on the ground today work with new software that could allow Robonaut to be controlled by virtual reality gear on the orbit in the future. And it was Ford who also worked with those ultrasound measurements. Tom Marshburn, meanwhile, uh, worked on updates to the automated payload switch upgrade that will help uh, facilitate remotely controlled research on the International Space Station. Novitsky, Torelkin, and Romanenko uh, did a variety of experiments as well as station maintenance, ta maintenance tasks. Uh, Novitsky did air filter cleaning. Torelkin worked on water purification and filtration maintenance in the Rushman segments of the station. And Romanenko installed experiment hardware for the Crystal experiment. Later on today, ground contorners will be stowing uh, the Dexter Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator, uh, which has been on the end of Canada Arm 2 uh, for the past two weeks. Last week for uh, remote refueling mission activities, uh, looking at how we might use robotic spacecraft to go refuel spacecraft that uh, never were designed to be refueled in orbit. All those tests went very well. A combined project of the Goddard Space Flight Center uh, of NASA up in Maryland and the Canadian Space Agency. Flight controllers uh, here in Mission Control and at the Canadian Space Agency's uh, robotic support facility in St. Hubert, Canada, uh, worked together on those remote controlled activities. They also, uh, earlier in this work, moved around a couple of different uh, orbital replacement units on the outside of the space station, uh, moving them from uh, an, one rack to another uh, and putting them in the right position so that the, the uh, degraded components are out of the way and that the components that may be needed soon for upcoming replacement tasks are right at hand. Today, the uh, crew on the ground is going to use the uh, robotic arm to stow the Dexter manipulator on the mobile base system. Meanwhile, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, the work is continuing to prepare for the next Russian cargo craft, uh, Progress 50, for a launch on February 11 to the space station. Ahead of that, the uh, Progress 48 spacecraft, which arrived at the station in August, uh, will be undocking from the Piers docking compartment. That uh, is coming up on Saturday, February the 9th at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. We'll have live coverage of that on NASA TV. And after that, it'll be deorbited three hours later, so it uh, burns up into the atmosphere and uh, plunges to a destructive demise in the Pacific Ocean. And that'll clear piers for the accelerated single-day launch to docking of a Progress 50 on March, excuse me, on Monday, February the 11th. Launch from uh, Site one, Launch Pad, uh, where Yuri Gagarin launched at Baikonur, is uh, scheduled uh, for 8:41 a.m. Central Time on February the 11th. And then four orbits later, it'll be docking to the space station at 2:40 p.m. Central Time. A new Progress is going to be carrying uh, 1,700 pounds of propellant, uh, more than 100 pounds of oxygen and air, more than 900 pounds of water, and some 3,000 pounds of spare parts, experiment hardware, and logistical equipment, total of almost three tons of supplies in all. And that single day uh, launch to docking is in preparation for potential use of that single day launch to docking for humans to uh, minimize uh, the stress on crew members as they head up to the International Space Station. Space Station managers and partners uh, met this morning to review all the preparations for the undocking of 48 Progress and the launch of uh, Progress 50, and uh, so far no issues have been identified, and we're looking forward to that coming up later this month.